Hello friends, this is Dr. Amarjeet Kaur, Professor of Accounting and Business Communication at the Department of Management, Gurugram University, Gurugram. Uh, this is my privilege that I am here today with you to discuss about writer's skills. So, writer skills means all those skills which are required for anyone to pursue writing as a career. So, the skills required by individuals which who are known as writers are writer skills. So, there are so many skills which, uh, which anyone uh, need to possess to claim as good writer to to be effective in career uh, of writing. So, that is what we are talking about. So, today in this session I am going to talk about what are the common writing styles. Then I am going to talk about how can one improve writer skills and lastly I am going to talk about that how can you showcase those writing skills uh, or writer skills in your resume, in your cover letter etc. So, first thing that what are the common writing styles? So, there are four common writing styles which any writer need to understand before he or she wants to excel in, as a writer. So, those common writing styles are number one descriptive, number two narrative, number three persuasive and number four expository. So, let us talk about the first one descriptive. So, in the descriptive as the word says, so we are describing right the complete picture, the vivid picture of the event of the case of the scenario of anything whatever has happened or, or you, are, you are going to showcase as uh, you know as an event, as a scenario, as a case. So, we are giving a very vivid picture, we are describing in length and if anybody is following that, that person is the style is actually describing the giving the whole picture of the incidents of the event. You know most of the news for example, uh, most of the news I am saying not all are written in the form of descriptive uh, format. You know so describing the news, describing the event, describing the situation. So, this particular kind of uh, writing style is known descriptive writing style. Then the second one is narrative. Here uh, you know a person who is writer creates a plot, a storyline so that people believe it, but it is been put in a way that it sounds like a storyline. You know it is very common nowadays to hear this word narrative. A narrative has been set by that political party or this political party by this group or that group, by this uh, you know person or that person. In even at workplace people talk about this narrative has been set now, this narrative has been created now. So, narrative is basically uh, you know you are putting some, some idea across in a way that you want people to believe it. So, it may or may not be true, but it has been put in a way emphasize in a way that that is expected to be believed you know. So, there is a clear storyline, there is a plot interconnected things are there. So, this is narrative style. The third is persuasive. So, you can become a writer who are there to influence people, pursue people for a situation, for a change, for adoption you know. So, we are here the the onus on the writer is to build emotional connect with the readers because we are writing so we are we have readers right. So, because writing style means the written communication is going on. So, here what is the agenda? Agenda is to connect emotionally with the readers so that you could pursue their thought process, so that you could pursue the idea you have to sell. You know uh, most of the ads they they are persuas persuasive in nature they want to pursue uh, you know in the mind of uh, readers or you know this particular product is good or this particular quality which is claimed by the product does exist so by by putting up examples by putting up the testimonies you know so purpose is we are trying to pursue 
we are trying to build an connection an emotional connection between the readers so so you are that persuasion could be for adopting something or for dropping something you know for example some write up is there uh, to encourage people to stop smoking right so this is a persuasion as a persuasive writing style but the idea is not to adopt something but to drop something similarly there could be uh, adoption of some some persuasion could be to plant a tree or run your ac at 25 degree temperature during summers to save electricity to save resources so that is you are pursuing with you know your readers to accept to adopt some idea some thought so that was the third style of writing the fourth is expository so here we just are using this particular style to inform or to explain something you know uh, newspapers are uh, sometime some news are like expository where we they are written in the form of in form uh, i mean expository format purposes or writer has an agenda just to inform just to explain right so expository examples there are so many more uh, notices are been issued to students in a university uh, memos are issued at any workplace in university or any other co corporate culture so what is that that is used to inform and to explain this has happened this will happen so this kind of uh, expository writing is actually referring to when the writer is using written skills his written skills to inform and explain so these were the four common writing styles now i would like to talk how to improve writer skills so let's discuss the ways the means uh, to improve upon creative thinking skills and to improve upon writer skills for the purpose of good effective writing so how to improve writer skills number 1 practice writing simply number 2 write regularly number 3 read books and articles number 4 use active voice number 5 attend workshops so i will discuss them in uh, detail now how to improve your writer skills so you want to pursue your write writing as a career you want to become a professional writer right you may like to write for a corporate uh, you know company where the writer's job is to write about the development to write the performance report to write the uh, you know public uh, addresses to write the brochure to write any publicity material etc etc so you may uh, be writing for a script writer Uh, you know, for a uh, for a company which is which which is writing a script, you may be writing for an OTT platform. You may be writing for a social media platform. You may be writing for a legal firm. So there are so many avenues as a writer. So irrespective of what avenue you are working in or which avenue are you working in, there are certain ways for every writer, irrespective of the the avenue or the field within the writing he or she is working to improve upon so the first thing is practice writing simply you know you should always remember the ultimate objective of writing or a writer's uh, skill is to have a skill where you are able to transfer the information transfer the thought or ideas from your own knowledge or from your own uh, you know mind to to the others mind to the others thoughts right so the best thing is start writing simple so no you need not to be using very heavy words very techni technical words or very difficult vocabulary unless there's a demand right so in journal you know whichever uh, avenue you are working at what whichever platform you are writing for you should try to write as simple as possible yet interesting right the first thing is write simple write simply so the simple writing is because people are able to connect easily people are aware of the vocabulary being used 
people are familiar with those statements where people are familiar with those uh, sentences so that is effect for to make the effective uh, reading or if in the writing uh, you know effective for others it's important that writers know that fact that writing should be as simple as possible the second was that uh, one can improve writer skills by writing simply and the second is by writing regularly so of course it does matter you may not have assignment at certain point of time you know writers are the ones who may face this problem in actual so so let's say for example i am writing only for movies and there could be time that i do not have any assignment in hand to write a new script for a new movie right so what does it mean shall i just stop writing at all no i should i may start writing a script at my own without anybody been explaining me so that i am practicing i am writing regularly so that you know i do not face problem when i actually start i am required to write after some time so you may have assignment you may not have assignment at particular time point of time never stop writing write regularly and write uh, you know on different subject matters then the third uh, way to improve the writer skill is read books and articles so it's just not that you should have good writing skills that is communication skills unless you read you have the capability and interest in reading books articles social media sites material everything you know you should not only the books and the articles the books and the articles in e form software in uh, available on different platforms everything so so you should be reading books and articles if you really want to be a good writer so so reading skills are required to develop writing skills that's the point so reading really complements writing skills so reading helps you to gather knowledge to gather thoughts about different situation to understand various aspects of the same topic you know one book one author may have just touched upon the importance of one particular uh, field particular uh, machine particular program particular procedure in medic medicine industry for example other may have challenged it other book may have other article may have raised question on it right so try to read as much material as much as many articles as possible because by reading you are not actually improving your reading skills only your reading skills are going to go better for sure by, by more reading but your writing skills are going to be honing because you you will hone upon the right the writing skill because the more you read the more clarity you have in your thoughts the more ideas you generate in your thoughts the more references you have to write the content with conviction with confidence right so one should be reading as much as possible and then the fourth point to improve the writing is whenever you are writing you should not be writing in passive voice we should be writing in active voice active voice is subject verb object sentence structure instead of you know the the object structure so in um in active voice right we are actually uh, you know writing it has been you know so i said so he or she who saw the character said so thought so it's not it has been said this is an this is a passive format it has been said many a times in other way if i say uh you know the rulers of the uh, you know x party or uh, that you can use a name of the character the character has said so has been finding it this that you know here you are giving some some identity to the character to uh, you are giving some personalized touch to the sentence you are forming to the content you are writing so this is what is known as subject verb object sentence formation or structure 
because uh, you are using active voice, you are not using passive voice here. So, that is the fourth way you know other than that you should be practicing, you should be writing regularly, reading books, articles and using active voice. The last thing is that you should try to attend workshops, you should try to attend different uh, you know ability enhancement programs, uh, different uh, development programs for you know, which, inten which are intended for writers. So, how does that, that help? So, in the workshops you are made to write on different aspects, workshop is doing by hand you know practical exposure. So, you are you will be given practical exposure of how to write right. So, one should be attending uh, workshops regularly if really want to keep himself or herself abreast of, of all the you know developments. If you really want to uh, uh, want to become a good writer, you want to have a good writing skill, make sure that you attend those workshops regularly and you know it is not that I just attended 10 years ago, after that I got lot of business and I do not have time to upgrade myself, sorry that is not done because workshops does happen on different topics. Gra you know the organizers they change the topic uh, as per the need of the hour. So, they generally would organize a workshop which on the topic which is in demand which is required. So, you should be attending such workshop regularly to hone upon your writer's skills. The last thing I want to talk about is that how to highlight writer's skills in different uh, you know means of communication for a profession. So, there are three different uh, situations, uh, first is highlighting in the resume, uh, number two is cover letter, number three is job interview. So, now we shall be discussing in detail how to highlight your writers, your skill as a writer right in your resume first. So, resume is what you are presenting your summary, whatever you have done, your educational background, your experience, your achievements, in your experience you may write what, what was your job role, your job responsibility and you may write uh, the projects you finished, the projects you actually are pursuing, you may write the uh, you know. Uh, the assignments you have fulfilled completed during your previous employer if you were employed earlier. You may write uh, about the designations you have held, the countries you have worked there, there is no end in resume is a detailed document right. You, you are supposed to be presenting summary, uh, it is a summary of one, one page or generally resume is that, but it is a, it's a it should have all those things. So, when you are writing your resume or you are writing your CV for that matter which is a detailed resume more pages than one or two in resume generally we have one or two page. So, in summary uh, for the resume or for the CV we should see that we have one heading under the name summary you know it could be professional summary, job sum summary or career summary. So, even I have in my own resume, I have a summary, professional summary. So, career summary, one can use any such word. So, job sum summary, it, what does it mean? In the summary, we summarize the responsibility of the work we had handled, we are pursuing and in that responsibility, how writer skills were used. So, it is not essential that you were working in writers skill you are using writer skills professionally you know as a on a designated uh, position no it is not not as necessary. For example, in corporate communication we have designated positions where the person is uh, communicating with the outside world and he or she is known for corporate communication his or she has been assigned that job, but you may not have been assigned but you used it. So, you should be very careful in referring to the situation or instances or various uh, you know aspects of your work when you were given charge of writing. 
So, you should be actually emphasizing upon writer's skills in the summary that is the best thing because people may ref use or, or read your resume, but may not read your CV if it is 10, 20 pages long, right. So, summary is the place make sure you do mention about your writer's skill in the summary statement. And after that, another place where we can write in the resume is our job responsibility. If the profile for which you are applying for the new job, you are because resume is the something as a document which is used to present your you know, candidature to the future employer. So, the job responsibility, uh, if you are mentioning that I was responsible for this, I was responsible for that act. So, whatever the activity you are referring to, if the new profile or new job uh, description is such where writer skills are required. So, make sure you do mention about the responsibility in that head too, that how your writer skill was used in the responsibility you were discharging at your previous uh, role. If you have not worked at all and this is your new role, first time you are going to join, then in your summary it should be mentioned that how did you use your writer skill in journal without working for someone. So, working professionally means you are paid for the work, but you could have been writing for your magazine in uh, of the college, university for some you know newsletter etcetera, etcetera. You can summarize that you may not have worked you know you may not have worked on payment basis. I mean you ha you are not carried it as a paid work so far, but even then uh, you can you can find out that how should you be writing it in the summary section of the resume and in the job responsibility if you were given some particular role uh, in your college apex body or college students uh, you know, center uh, student center council or or as editorial team for the magazine or the newsletter etc etc so write it as a under that heading as a responsibility you know that you were given that responsibility this is how anyone can actually exhibit writer skills in the resume. The second area where one can actually exhibit showcase the writer skill is the cover letter. So, cover letter is the letter which is covering the resume or the covering uh, covering the CV. So, it is a cover to the resume. So, the letter which is written uh, you know while submitting or sending the resume as a as a, as a uh, you know top up. So, that is where you can also mention your skills. You can you can write in one or two line uh, that how were you using your writer skills in your previous job or if not in a previous job then voluntarily or in any social activity. So, you can actually mention this uh, your writer skill in cover letter as well, but make sure you are sure that the job which you are applying for does require writer skills, right? Because you may not be applying for uh, uh, exclusive writer's role, that is also a possibility. If you are applying for exclusive writer's role, then certainly you have to mention thoroughly throughout your resume, your cover letter, everywhere. But there could be a possibility that your role is such which does not require, which does not give you the designation of writer but it does require writing skills even then it should be mentioned. So, there could be you know the both the possibility one your profile is exclusively created or known for writers. So, then certainly writer skills become very essential and important, but your profile which you are applying for may not be exclusively as writers uh, you know, but as a content writer, as a media writer etcetera, etcetera or as editor or like that, but it could simply be like that, that your writer skills are required. So, make sure you are sure about the JD, the profile you are applying for. The last part is that job interview. How can you talk about your writing skills in job interview? It is very interesting. So, um, as I said for cover letter and resume, again I repeat the same thing. Before you appear in front of the interview panel, 
read the JD again, the job description again, the ad which you have gone through and against which you have applied very well. Do they require, are they looking for the writer's you know, uh, skills? If yes, then make sure directly or indirectly you get a chance to talk about your writer's skill. You know, I have written and I pursued my community, my colleagues at previous work, my, stu my peers, classmates, etc., etc., and for a particular, you know, topic and, and we, we really, you know, we had a change after that. So, it means you are convincing that your writing was so effective that you could pursue uh, others, you could pursue the thoughts you have or you may have got some publication that what is the rate of the circulation, what is the viewership in case some, you have written some content on the web, how many likes are there like that. So, during your job interviews you can actually mention about, you can try to find out any such situation where you get a chance to mention about all these things. So, these are the ways to showcase your writing skills in your resume, your interview and your cover letter. So, with this I would like to wind up now. I hope uh, you could understand uh, that the importance of writing skills and how can we express those writing skills at various platforms. So, with this I would like to wind up friends. Thank you.